On today's Disney Roundup, more 50th anniversary offerings that will be coming to an end, Epcot Forever is rumored to return next year, and the first festivity announced for Epcot's 40th. I have all that and more for you coming up right here on the DRU. To infinity and beyond! Hey everyone, Jeff here and welcome to the Disney Roundup where I bring you up to date with all the latest Disney and Disney Parks news each and every single week. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. Starting with Parks news this week, as announced at the D23 Expo Parks panel, it was announced that a new show will be coming to Epcot to replace Harmonious. However, in between shows, it is now being said that Epcot Forever will be returning. Per WDW Magic, with it being anticipated that Harmonious will come to an end on March 31st in 2023, along with other 50th anniversary offerings, it's expected that Epcot Forever will once again return. This being as the new unnamed nighttime show that will replace Harmonious for Disney 100 was said to not debut until late 2023. If Disney decides to bring back Epcot Forever, it will serve again as the interim show between Harmonious and the new show show as it did in between Illuminations, Reflections of Earth, and Harmonious. I think the big question here though is with Harmonious coming to an end, will the new show coming use the barges that were created for Harmonious and will they remain on World Showcase Lagoon? Speaking for myself and probably many others, hopefully Disney moves on. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned though and I'll let you know of any news that comes surrounding Epcot nighttime fireworks shows. With just debuting last year as part of Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary, Disney has announced that Kite Tales will be coming to an end this month. This past week, Disney released the following statement saying, As you know, Disney Kite Tales debuted at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park for the launch of the 50th anniversary celebration of Walt Disney World Resort. After this first year, we will transition the entertainment on Discovery River Lagoon to the flotillas. The last flight for Disney Kite Tales will be September 30th, 2022. We look forward to seeing our guests continue waving to their Disney friends cruising by on flotillas, embracing Disney pals with up-close encounters, and more to come as we we introduce our festive holiday season offerings in the months ahead. It was just back in May when Disney changed the show from having numerous scheduled times to now having shorter and unscheduled performances throughout the day, this being another 50th anniversary offering that will be scrapped and prior to the celebration ending, just having it last for one year. It will join Enchantment, Harmonious, and other festivities that will also be coming to an end in March when the 50th anniversary officially ends. Although little has been said on festivities for Epcot's upcoming 40th year anniversary, D23 has announced that they will be having an event that day in the park for gold members. Just the other day, D23 revealed that they will be having a gold member event on October 1st at Epcot in celebration of the park's 40th year anniversary. For the event, gold members who were able to get tickets and a reservation for Epcot that day, priority park check-in at 7.30 a.m., a D23 member mixer reception with a continental breakfast from 9.30 to 10.45 a.m., a $25 Disney gift card, an event-exclusive credential, and a lightning lane for living with the land that can be used at any time. Tickets went on sale today at 1 p.m. Eastern Time for $106, and the way D23 events go, they're most likely already sold out. This is the most announced as of any festivities go for Epcot's 40th, as Disney hasn't said anything really in regards to that besides that merch would be coming for the anniversary. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned though and I'll let you know of any news that hopefully we receive this week for Epcot's 40th. Following the release of Magic Band Plus at Walt Disney World this summer, it's now been said that Magic Band Plus will be coming to Disneyland this fall. This fall, Magic Band Plus will make its debut at Disneyland Resort, bringing the wearable technology to the West Coast for the first time with experiences that will vary from Walt Disney World. Magic Band Plus will come to life during World of Color in Disney California Adventure Park and Fantasmic and select nighttime shows in Disneyland Park. You'll also be able to explore Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland Park like never 
never before with the Star Wars but two bounty hunters interactive quest more magic band plus features and experiences are still to come an official launch date has not been said at this time guests planning on attending Mickey's very merry Christmas party this holiday season be aware nights are already beginning to sell out with all Mickey's not so scary Halloween parties being sold out for this year we now move on to the holiday themed special event at Magic Kingdom with party nights already beginning to sell out as up to the recording of this video Thursday November 10th is the only party night sold out for the time being as we get closer though to the holiday season and given how crowds are at Walt Disney World during this time I very much expect all nights for Mickey's Very Merry to sell out as well returning late next month Disney has said that a character breakfast is coming back to Magic Kingdom this past week, Disney announced Breakfast at Crystal Palace with Winnie the Pooh and his pals will be returning late next month. Breakfast with Pooh and his friends will return on Tuesday, October 25th, with reservations able to be made beginning tomorrow, Thursday, September 22nd. Breakfast will be served at the Crystal Palace from 8 to 10.45 a.m. No menu details or pricing have been set at this time, but more is said to be announced on the 22nd once reservations open up. Now on Outside the Parks news, guests staying on property at Walt Disney World this holiday season, be aware if you're a Disney Plus subscriber, you can save up to 20% off your room. Now on the Walt Disney World website on the special offers page, Disney has released a new offer where Disney Plus subscribers can save up to 20% off rooms this holiday season. Disney Plus subscribers can save up to 20% on rooms at select Disney Resort hotels for stays most nights December 11th through December 25th. Guests can save 10% during those dates at these resorts, including the All-Stars, Beach Club, and Wilderness Lodge, 15% at Port Orleans French Quarter and Riverside and Art of Animation Suites, and 20% at the Grand Floridian, Riviera, and others listed. All right, everyone, well, that's all you for this week's episode of the Disney Roundup. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button for me, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. That's all you for this week. Until next time, we'll see you on the DRE.